The Vodafone Flying Fijian scout John Mackey is mapping out a game plan to see his side bounce back from their loss to England in their opening rugby World Cup match. But the million dollar question, can they beat the Wallabies? You know, there's pressure on Australia. It's their first game in the tournament. You know, that they won't be they won't be ready for the for the pressure. Um, you know, I think that, that could play in our favour. We we've got our first game out of the way, you know, any any nervousness, any any you know, you know, we've now got good knowledge of, of the sort of, you know, the, the pressure that the crowd and the stadium can bring to the, to the event. The scenario is simple. Fiji will have to win to remain in the race. Fiji now face the daunting challenge of qualifying from their pool. We need to really go to this Australia game and, and really look, look to nail it if we, if we have any hope to, to advance to the playoffs. With that in mind, Fiji is expected not to leave any stones unturned in their do or die match. You know, who knows, I think maybe, you know, Fiji, everyone could get behind Fiji. I think maybe maybe in the UK and Wales, Fiji have more fans than the Australians do. Mackie wants to see improvement in their next game. Oh, look, it's interesting because, you know, Australia play quite a different game to England, so we'll, we'll need to take a little bit of a different approach around our, our defence um, to be, be aware of the, you know, the, their threats. And expect changes in the side as more fresh legs will be needed. Oh, look, we're always going to make some changes into the second game with the with the five day turnaround and and you know the intensity of the games that that, that we need to get some fresh legs in there. Mekki will tomorrow name his starting 15 to face the Wallabies in Cardiff. Irfan Khan, PG1 News.